recent weeks, French power company GDF's record-breaking green bond has focused the market's attention on this growing asset class. Today I'm speaking with Michael Wilkins, who heads up our global environmental risk research about the corporate green bond market in Europe and why we anticipate this area of finance will grow in the coming years. Welcome, Mike. Thank you. So tell us, what mm. makes a green bond green? Well, essentially a green bond is a, a bond issue where the proceeds of that issue are allocated to environmental projects or projects which reduce carbon emissions. They could be renewable energy projects or energy efficiency projects, but anything which is basically adding to a low carbon economy. Those are classified as green. Okay, and so why why now? Why are they popular now with both issuers and also investors? Well, essentially, as you can see from this chart, there's been a, a real huge explosion in the number of social responsible investment investor funds. Uh, that's now grown to around $34 trillion uh, of assets under management. These funds are looking for assets to put their money to work, and they have a mandate to invest in social responsible investments, including green bonds. Um, that's why we are seeing such an increase in demand for this type of asset, and we expect there to be much more going forward as well. And, and so is that what's really driving the issuers? It's, it's the demand for this type of financing? Yeah, it's, it's the demand from investors that's really driving it. I mean, there are certain sectors, uh, as you can see from this chart, the utility sector makes up nearly two-thirds of total corporate green bond issuance, which uh, this year is already standing at nearly $11 billion. And you know, utility sectors have been investing heavily in renewable energy projects, wind farms, solar projects, and those can be packaged into green bonds. Essentially, they issue the bonds, the uh, proceeds are earmarked for those investments, but the credit essentially is still on balance sheet for the corporate issuer, whether it's a utility or a real estate company investing in buildings, whatever it may be, the credit remains with the issuer on balance sheet. So the investor is not taking any extra credit risk by investing in these instruments. And so are any other industries, um, you mentioned real estate, but any other industries? Yeah, there are other industries. Again, in the chart, you will see real estate, consumer products, but utilities are the main ones. And if you can see on the next chart, where we see, again, the spread of different utilities, the actual um, ratings that we are seeing coming out of the green bond sector tend to be around the single A or A plus range, which is, again, is very attractive to mainstream investors. So while SRI investors, social responsible investors, are the mainstay of this asset class, we're seeing other types of investors as well, uh, like the main insurance companies and pension funds also coming in because of the rating, the attraction of the credit, and also because of the scale of the deals. This has now become a liquid market. The GDF issue uh, from last week, for example, was $3.4 billion. These are big issues which can then be put into indices and, and be you know, attractive to the mainstream investor. Okay, so the market, um, even despite these big issues, it's still small on a relative basis. What do we see in terms of growth in this market going forward? Yeah, as I said, this year we've seen somewhere in the region of $11 billion, um, and we expect that to double to around $20 billion by year end 2014. Now that's considerable growth, but it's starting from a very low base. Um, you know, if we look at the total assets under management by uh, fixed income investors, that's somewhere in the region of $80 trillion. So this is still a, a drop in the ocean in the overall market, mm -hmm. but it's a good start and we expect the growth to be pretty dynamic going forward. The demand is there, the credit quality seems to be there. The next stage of the evolution of the market, we suspect, will be more off-balance sheet aggregation structures where it's not the corporate credit that you're taking as an investor, but the credit of the actual project itself. But well, that's yet to come. Okay, great. Well, thanks so much for explaining that to us. Thank you. That concludes this edition of Credit Matters TV. Thanks for joining us. Mm -hmm.